So I went on Twitter yesterday. I bet you can tell where this is going. I don't really want to live on this planet anymore. Back in ancient times, like in 2007, when Twitter was created, you could do nothing about it. But today we can. Thanks to the power of VR, we can leave this place and I have decided to move into Minecraft VR permanently. It's a big decision, but it had to be made. I said goodbye to my cactus and my crayfish balloon and started the program. Ah, already feel at home. But Killian, if you move into Minecraft VR, won't you starve to death? I find logical errors in YouTube videos. No, I won't starve. You see, one day in Minecraft is 20 minutes in real life. And I've eaten one of those fish food pellets that lasts two weeks. Which means I don't have to eat anything for two and a half years. In the game on the other hand, a big problem with Minecraft VR is that if you die here, you die in real life. That seems like a pretty big deal! Why haven't I heard about it? Well, someone took Microsoft to court. And the tech giant won the case, because they pointed out they could not be sued because anyone who tried to sue them would be dead. That's why my current priority is to secure the physiological needs to survive. I'll focus on shelter first by finding a village. Not gonna live alone in the forest, that's a crazy person decision. As opposed to a sane person decision, like moving into Minecraft. I found one! Hello, villager. What is the name of this village? Ha. It's called Ha. Okay. Then from now on, I am Ha-ish. My first morning as a Ha citizen. I need to build a house similar to theirs so they don't stone me for ruining the village aesthetics. All I need is wood and stone. If I had emeralds, dooby 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 dum. This is nice. This is all it's going to be by the way, just a simple video of me relaxing in Minecraft VR. If you were hoping for an overly complex plot with lots of layers and storylines, you've come to the wrong place. Look at that, I finished the house. Beautiful view and a cozy second floor. Now I need to focus on the other two needs. Water is easy. I have it right over there. Tastes exactly like I expected pixelated water to taste. Now I need to create my farm for food. Wheat for bread and of course liquid bread. Potatoes and then I can mix that with wheat oil to create chips and beetroot so I can make some delicious borscht. Do I have anything else I can grow? Carrots! I hate carrots! And I won't tell you why! I have secured all the basic needs. Now I move on to the second level, security. In layman's terms, I gotta get a job. No offense to unemployed people, they make up 94% of my audience. But in pre-electric times, if you didn't have a job, they threw you out of the village. Hmm, what am I qualified for? Write jokes on the internet. It's not gonna help me here. If an EMP destroys all electricity, be sure to leave out food for starving YouTubers. Doesn't seem to be any police around. I could cook. No, Mojang said they won't add hydrochloric acid until the next patch. I don't like the sun enough to farm. And I can't become a butcher because I feel bad for fictional animals as opposed to real animals. I need a job similar to my previous one. Where I tell people my opinions and no one dares to oppose me. Wait, yes of course, I should become a cleric. I'll just stand in front of everyone and call them terrible people. I'll go talk to the previous cleric. He did not want to leave his job. Villagers! Your previous cleric ran off with an exotic dancer. I'm your cleric now. No, I am not covered in blood. This is from all the borscht I eat. But Killian, how does a cleric make money? Medieval priests had this trick they called faith blackmail. Hey, ah, uh, 
I saw you eat bread on the specific day. We aren't allowed to eat bread. Give me emeralds or go straight to the nether. Hey, cartographer! Some of your maps aren't completely accurate. Give me emeralds or go straight to the nether. Everyone, give me emeralds or you're all going to the nether. It carried on like that. Time moved quickly. Me metaphorically, on top of time moving quickly. You, you know what I mean. I've lived here for a year. Starting to consider this place my home. I do miss stuff from the real world though. A cold glass of soda. The smell of freshly cut grass. But most of all, I miss... I miss that video of a lazy-eyed cat who wants chips. He tries to dig through the bag, but, but he's not allowed to eat them. If I had all of those things, this would be a paradise. Maybe I don't have to finish the security step and can move on to love and belonging. Let's go make a friend. Hello! Okay, run away. Hi there! I, I don't think you're allowed to say that word. Good day. That's rough, buddy. I should get going. I could really use an icebreaker to start conversations. As a cleric, I only have this red stone. Wait... A raid? We're being invaded! My flock is being massacred precisely the moment I've made th three halves of a friend. I need to make weapons, but, but I don't know how, because I skipped that step. I have all this diamond. I could learn how to, but, but I need more time. I only know how to use redstone. Wait. Time. Redstone. Oh my Nolan. I have to build Minecraft VR in Minecraft VR. I have to go one layer deeper, where time is slower. God damn it, this is gonna be so confusing and complex, the one thing I didn't want to happen. Bye for now, I'll be right back. I'm awake, and it's cold. Water! Oh no, it should be ice when it's this freezing. You see, on the second deeper VR level on virtual reality games, bugs usually manifest themselves as bugs. But because Minecraft is made in Java, it manifests itself as coffee. But because Minecraft doesn't have coffee, and coffee is 90% water, bugs manifest themselves as water. The point is I will die the second I finish this sentence. Okay, so it's just normal water. Okay, I need to find out how to make weapons using diamonds. But first, I need to get down from here. I only see one option. I'll have to jump down in the water. But this is a huge risk. If I had a VR architect, he could architect my way down. But I'm on my own. And I really, really need to get back to what this video was previously about. I... I can't do it. Ah! An ocelot! I have hidden traumas about ocelots. Geronimo! I survived. And I feel like I've become so connected to the VR that it feels like I'm playing normal Minecraft. What a cool in-universe explanation for my computer not being able to handle amplified VR. Let's go hunt some diamond. I've searched for maybe two weeks, but it's felt like two hours. It's probably been two hours. And I can't find any diamonds, only coal and redstone. Of course. Of course. On this level, time moves faster. That's why the mountains are so tall, and the diamonds would have turned back into coal. I need to pick a new weapon. A bow, because that would be really cool in VR. For that I need string, and that's dropped by spiders. Here's a spider cave. Next to a carrot patch! Ugh! I should take a look in. What the nether are those things? Okay, slowly walk away. I'm minding my own business. Hi there. Ah! The creatures are weird. Wait, of course, it's so logical. Not only does time move faster here, Minecraft is also cubical, so it moves four times faster, and the manifestations of spiders would have evolved into impossible Minecraft shapes. I can't defeat these things because I don't have any weapons. I'll have to... wait them out. We need to go deeper. I need to create Minecraft VR in Minecraft VR in Minecraft VR. Time there will be way further ahead and these spiders will be long gone. And then I can collect their string. This is so complex. I didn't want it to be this complex. Good night. I'm awake. Again. I need to get string. Hot damn, everything is breaking down. Either the Minecraft engine can't handle all this information, or my brain is melting. Both things are equally terrifying. I should see if I can buy some string in this village. Hello, it's me, Leo DiCaprio. You are currently in Minecraft VR, Minecraft VR. I'm here to rescue you, but I need to find some string. You saw some east of here. Thank you. I'll head there right now. No! Ocelots! 
I can't do this! But I have to get string! My only way is a portal through the nether. You see, one step in the nether is eight steps in the real world. But because we are three levels deep, one step is actually 24 steps. Which would mean right here. Wait. Where am I? Ah. I'm back in New York. I must have left the game. I, I can't possibly still be in the game, right? I should spin a coin to find out. Wait. We live in a cashless society now. I am definitely back in the real world. Look, there's the Chrysler building. I need to find a slice of pizza that is way better than Neapolitan pizza because I've been a New Yorker my entire life. Hey, paisanos, how you doing? Ah, the New York llamas. It's like meeting Frank Sinatra. Thank Ninja Turtles I left Minecraft. I'm gonna miss whatever it was I did back there. But it's time to get back to my real job as a New York plumber who only helps people that don't like carrots. Hello New York library. Hello ba- wait a minute. Something's very wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. The Bank of America Tower is 287 meters tall. When literally everyone in the universe knows it's always been 287.9 meters tall. Wait a minute, I've never been to New York in my entire life. I'm still in Minecraft and it's collapsing. I have to get out of here. I died. But I'm alive. I know this place. This is the dev room. Here is where I will spend the rest of eternity. Unless I come to a big realization about myself and develop as a character. But that's not gonna happen. Unless... Unless I have dramatic music by Hans Zimmer in the background to dialogue over. But I can't really afford him, not within my budget. Maybe... something that sounds similar but is copyright free. I have lived here for what feels like 27 seconds. But it could be more as I am dialoguing. It's only me, this endless void, and a chest that I dare not open. For I know what's in the chest. It's the tweet that made me want to move to Minecraft. I have to read it to reach self-actualization. Hello, it's me, Killian's wife. I'm going to the Carrot and Ocelot store. I sure hope I don't get mauled to death. She was mauled to death. And it's my fault. I bought her perfume, even though it had a warning label that said that its smell could enrage ocelots. I have to accept that I killed my wife. Hey, I'm back! Well, that was a fun gameplay session. But I'm so hungry though, I could really go for some boshed. Then maybe I can come back and play some more Minecraft. I'm sorry this took so long to make, I had a lot of problems with it. Technical and writing problems. Talked a bit about it on my Discord at discord.gg Killian. Or link in the top comments.